Aloha and welcome to Microsoft Office Access 2007. In this video we'll take a look at some of the um, features in Office uh, Access 2007 to get you started. This is the welcome screen once you start Access in Windows and to create a new database you can simply click on blank database. Microsoft also provides these templates but for our purposes we're going to start from scratch so you can learn some of the features. To um, create a new database, click on Blank Database. And then over here in File Name, uh, we can type the name of our file. Right now I'm going to just leave this as Database 1 and click Create. Okay. This view here is called the Data Sheet view. And what Access has done is they've gone ahead and created a table. And now you may recall from the um, discussion, uh, previous discussion on uh, database modeling, uh, we can create entity relationship diagrams. And generally, uh, entities translate to tables in uh, Microsoft Access. Now, these tables at first glance look a lot like uh, spreadsheets that you may find in uh, Microsoft Excel or Google Spreadsheets or some other. Uh, Open Office application, for example, okay, in which we have rows and columns. Okay. In uh, a database, typically the columns are called fields and the rows are called records. Okay. Now, we can start typing right away in this data sheet, as it's called, but we're going to go ahead and go into the design view for this table. If you go over here to the upper left corner, you'll find this button, there's a, a triangle, a pencil, and a ruler, and it says View. If you click on View, you'll see there's two options, Data Sheet View, this is the one we're in right now, and Design View. So you can click Design View, and it asks us to name the table. Okay. So if we were trying to keep track of the characters from the three little pigs, we could name this table Pig. And, uh, we always want to name our tables uh, in singular, not plural terms. We'll call this Pig. And now each pig has, uh, by default in Access, an ID number. And so anytime you create a new table um, from the design view, it's going to automatically get it an ID number. And you see this little key here, which matches this key. It says primary key. The primary key is used to uniquely identify that row in the table or that what we call that record in the database table. So just like you have a student ID number that's unique to you at the university, uh, every record in this table will have a unique ID number. That's an auto number, and what that means is it will automatically count. You don't have to assign it. The system will automatically just add one number to whatever the previous record was. So we can have ID, and we can have first name, and we'll just leave that tab over. Leave that as text. You can type a description if you want. You can say last name text and um, we could put age and age we could specify as a number okay. so we're going to keep track of pigs by first name last name and age okay so then once we've done that we can uh, click on this view button again and click back to the data sheet view it's going to ask us to save the table we'll click yes and now I can start adding values for my pigs and I can call this uh, Porky Pig is uh, 20 years old. I just tab over, tab to the next one. You'll see it automatically put uh, one there. I have Babe, the pig is five years old. Just tab over and see it's auto numbering here and it's creating records. Okay. So that's a key here. You can create a table using Microsoft Access. Mahalo.